At this point, it's no real secret that Thomas H. Handy is my favorite antique collection in recent years. It seems to be the bottle that I can't not have uh, every couple of years. I've mentioned it in previous videos. Uh, every couple of years when I run out of a bottle, I go and buy a new one. It, of course, uh, because it's from this year's antique collection, just like all previous antique collections, Thomas H. Handy is not a bottle that you can just go out and buy on shelves. Uh, it's a tricky bottle to get. Usually you need a relationship with a store or someone who knows you spent a lot and wants you to have one, uh, or you just have to outright buy it on the secondary market. Uh, is the 2023 release as good as the 2022 release? I was a huge fan of 2022, uh, and I'm really curious if this year's can live up. Hey guys, Jay here from Whiskey Raiders, here on the Whiskey Raiders YouTube channel. And today we are doing a first take of the final antique collection uh, to be released. Well, they were all released at the same time, but I'm trying them one at a time instead of all five at a time because palate fatigue is real. So today we're doing a first take on Thomas H. Handy's 2023 release of Rye. This is a six year, well, I guess Buffalo Trace says over six years, but really what that means is we have to treat it like six years and a day. This is bottled at 124.9 proof. This comes uh, straight out of Buffalo Trace. This is all, uh, they're basically their rye distillate. They don't give us an idea of the mash bill, uh, but my guess would be that it's more on the, the Kentucky style rye, a little lower rye content as opposed to that Whopper 95.5 from MGP, uh, but who's to say? So today, this is probably the one I've been most excited about. Generally, people are the least excited about Thomas Handy. It's a six-year rye instead of an 18-year rye or 19-year bourbon or the George C. Stag or that big, bold, weeded uh, bourbon that's in WLW uh, that Weller released. But for me, this has always been a hit. I really like this whiskey. In past years, it's just it's, it's big and it's brash and it's bold and it's unforgettable. And I'm really curious if this year's can live on up. Uh, maybe if you guys want, comment below. I'll do a comparison of 2022 because I still have some of that bottle in 2023. Uh, drop me a drop me a comment below if you'd like to see that. But in the meantime, let's get tasting. The nose is is really something. This this is a nose. This this like jumps out of the glass. It's full of cloves. It's orange and baking spice and brown butter and brown sugar. What I like on Thomas Handy is that it's powerful, like there's ethanol coming off of it. You know that this is going to be a bold whiskey, but at the same time, you're getting like big savory notes. You're getting big dessert notes. You're getting a little bit of fruit and spice, but mostly dessert and spice. I don't, fruity ryes aren't my big thing. I don't love them as much unless they're like a blackberry cherry kind of note in a rye, and those are really tough to get. Although I do get them on some Found North releases, but here today, this guy is all baking spice. It's all dessert, and it's just, it's jumping out the glass at me. It's got some nice color. It looks good. It looks good. Let's see how it is. Yeah, the nose stays rich. I'm kind of giving it some air here. Uh, this is this is just a big whiskey. <sighs> On the palate, wow. This is a, this is really wild whiskey. This is big. It's layered. It's rich. It has so much ginger. Uh, it has so much brown sugar, brown butter. It's got kind of almost like a pipe tobacco thing going on. And I have to say, this is hot whiskey. <laughs> this is exactly what I would expect out of Thomas Handy. This is un unforgiving. This is, you know, I, I sometimes catch flack for drawing like a conclusion of Booker's and because Booker's is the easiest way to explain like hot, but I like it because that's what Booker's is. This isn't quite that. There's definitely heat though. Uh, this definitely drinks more like a 130 proof instead of a 125-ish. You know, this is 124.9. But I love it. There's so much flavor with it. You know, it's not just ethanol. Uh, the, the the finish is, is still going. Like, I haven't remarked on the finish yet. Like, I can still feel it. It's big. It's oaky for six years, which is kind of nice. Like it hasn't become like a bitter oak, but I can feel the oak. I can feel like kind of that maple, kind of that... Uh, kind of like a sap almost like it, it is very sweet but it's a very savory sweetness here uh, and mostly it's just like a big kind of peanut butter like big cinnamon big nutmeg note uh, it's a really really decadent pour it's, it's brash but decadent it's kind of like I'm trying to think I'm trying to think of like a good descriptor that explains that like it is powerful but it has layers like it's worth working through like it will on first smell especially if it's your first pour of the day it is going to jump right out into your olfactory and hit you with that ethanol but it's it's really lovely. I I really like this. This I was afraid that, you know, kind of this year I'd be like, man, I've always liked Thomas Handy, and so I'd put it on like this pedestal and I, you know, I wouldn't live up to that. This is definitely really good. I I'd say it's neck and neck with 2022, which I did really like. I need to go back. I think it's pretty much a given that I should go back and compare those two. I would like to do that. 
But overall, uh, this is this is good stuff. If you put this in a blind, I think you'd be surprised at how many people just cannot pick out that this is a six-year whiskey. It's clear that they put their backs into picking the barrels for this. They pick things that are well-developed and well-structured and proofed well and, and just have a lot of character to them. And that really shows here uh, that age doesn't have to be everything. So Thomas Handy does it again. I'm looking forward to ranking the entire antique collection. We'll have that in a follow-up video, see where this falls compared to the other four. But overall, I got to say... This is some darn good whiskey. So thanks for joining me, guys. Truly a quick take. This is good stuff. I don't have to wax poetic for too long. I really like this one. Um, go ahead, check out another video on the channel. Drop us a like or subscribe. That would help as we're growing, trying to be a little more consistent here on YouTube, getting you guys the content that you've been asking for. Uh, but in the meantime, I have more rye whiskey to drink. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Jay, better known as Take, uh, here on the Whiskey Raiders YouTube channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.